Brandon Jones gave a status report on Dak's contract situation, saying, quote, we just continue to want to get Dak signed. Obviously, we're totally all in on him. It's just finding something that makes sense for both the Cowboys and Dak. I think I saw where Dak was quoted as saying he's fired up about his future here in Dallas and understands some of these things can be different in terms of ultimately getting a deal. We're joined once again by LaVar Arrington. And Acho, I'm going to start with you. Should Dak be bothered by the Cowboys saying they're all in on him? He should absolutely be ticked off. And he should be because the Cowboys are setting him up for failure. Marcellus, you often notate my singleness, but as a single man, I've still gone to a couple relationship <laughs> classes, ladies and gentlemen. Classes? Yeah, a couple classes. By yourself? Um, yes, obviously. <laughs> That's Weird. what you're doing, you're single. But you're, I you're, looked at you're your preparing IG. Yourself, you ain't always by yourself. You're preparing yourself for the future. Let me tell y'all this. <laughs> this what dude. I remember from a class, can y'all stop because I'm about to make a point. Thank you. <laughs> yes, uh, okay, go what, ahead. what I remember being said was this. If someone ever invites you to an event, remain non-committal. Because if you commit and then you say, let me go back and check, now everyone knows who's at fault. For example, mm. hey, if LeVar is like, hey, Acho, you trying to come to this cookout? Yeah, LeVar, I'd love to. Let me check with the significant other. Then I call LeVar back. Hey, bro, I can't make it. Mm. LeVar instantly knows it wasn't Acho's fault. It's your significant it was other. It significant other's fault. Unless you Marcellus, because Marcellus <laughs> will do that. He'll deflect to someone else. But go ahead. Damn right. Here's the thing. Y'all can handle the truth. That's what... That's what... Jerry Jones, Stephen Jones, the Cowboys are doing. Oh, we're all in on Dak. We love Dak. We want to commit to Dak. We want Dak to be here for life. Dak, 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 Dak. Everything good Dak. So now if it falls through, all the fan base is going to be saying, well, Dak must have been the one to mess this up. When in fact, the Cowboys love Dak. They want Dak, but it has a limit. It has a monetary limitation, and a monetary limitation that is lesser than the value that Dak has already earned. So I don't like the Cowboys going out publicly talking about their affection for Dak because they're setting him up for failure. Wow. Mm. I never thought that you should be bothered if an owner offers you 33 to $35 million during normal times, and you say, no, nah, I don't like the terms because of the length of the contract. And that same owner, after getting all of that thrown back in his face, is still going on record, putting his ego out there, franchise on the line, saying we're still committed to you as you're committed to us. And you think that these are all empty words, empty statements. Mm -hmm. Those I bank agree. statements could have been cast if Dak was sitting there saying, I'm thirsty for this moment. But Dak is not just thinking present value. He's thinking future value. And he's smart. He's so smart that we're going to be the ones who are going to laugh at Dak right now, you and LeVar, and then you're going to be the ones no, being here laughed we go. at at the end because Dak is making smart moves to build his own empire. Why did I use the word empire? Because go I ahead. remember this happening, and it just hit me this morning, of who Dak Prescott really is. Dak Prescott is Master P. I'm going to start calling it Master D because Dak Prescott is sitting there like Master P was in the early to mid-90s. Rapper after rapper was bigger than Master P. Even better than Master P. Snoop Dogg, Pac, you want to go Biggie, all of Big, them. And nah. Master P sat there and said, wait a minute, what's the game? What's the goal of business? to get the most. And Master P, not being even close to the best rapper, made the most money off of rap. And Dak Prescott is right now on pace to make the most money at the quarterback position, and no one is sitting here saying he's the top quarterback in the league. So we're playing two different games if you're talking about Dak Prescott. Y'all playing the game of, oh, man, they don't love you. They don't take care of you. They ain't committing to you. And Dak is sitting there saying, Kirk Cousins has made the most money in the last four years, and I'm already outpacing him by 22 million. <laughs> Who gonna be laughing last? Dak Prescott, excuse me, Master D. That is a horrible, horrible example to use. Master P got his money because he chose to go independent. He didn't depend on anybody paying his his. No, uh, it was his, his deal. deal. I'll call him out. I digress. His deal. his deal was done independently. He didn't do it with an organization like the Dallas Cowboys. But listen, it. here's my point. I'm saying Don't no. Play. Start your I'm own team. I'm saying no. No, no, it's not. It's his own team. It was his own team. So Dak could play Dak his own money if it was his <laughs> own team. But this isn't his own team. Master and I'm saying D. no because Dallas, look, no, don't be, so, so I'm clear, no, do not be any more bothered than what you already are. 
if everything that everybody is saying, oh, we're all in, all in, we love him, his future, this, that, and the other, the deal would be done, fellas. Wrong. The right. deal would be done. There would have been a compromise. Wrong. The only reason why they came out and had anything to say to begin with is because you just got a deal done with a guy that's comparable to Dak Prescott. So you feel the pressure and you respond to it. This is nothing but propaganda, rhetoric, so to speak. You know why? You want to know why they come out and say something like this? Why? They are putting the ball in, in Dak Prescott's court. They are putting the onus and the weight of, of a decision and a deal getting done on Dak Prescott. We want him. We're all in. We love him. We want him here. But we don't have a deal done. Oh, must be Dak Prescott's fault. Mm -hmm. Dak needs to be more realistic in his approach to what his numbers are. Dak Prescott needs to be a little bit more open on what it means to be a, a Dallas Cowboy franchise quarterback. Dak, 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 Dak. Dak has to take the, the, the excuse and be the guy that, that handles why this deal gets done or doesn't get done. And that's what this is shaping up to be. I don't see it being a number changing unless Dak has that great of a season this year. But he had a great year last year, even though the team didn't, and he still doesn't get a deal done. So to me, I think he shouldn't be bothered because he knows they're all in. It's just not to Dak Prescott's definition or idea of what all in is. Look, the, the Cowboys are setting Dak Prescott up not to be the GOAT, but Thank to be you, the sir. scapegoat. Thank you. Okay, they're setting, <laughs> That's they're setting Dak Prescott right. up to fall oh, on the man. sword, and it's going to be all Dak's fault. This gentleman is what I love right now about our social media age. I love that owners can come out and say one thing, and a manager can come out and say one thing, but players have power to also go out and speak the truth. Two weeks ago, Adam Gase, coach for the Jets, came out and said, yeah, we sat our star running back down, Le'Veon Bell. He has some tightness. Le'Veon goes on Twitter. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't tight. wrong with my hamstrings. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't nothing wrong with me. I ain't tight at all. <laughs> the man with the mic has the power. And Jerry yeah. Jones knows that. So as long as Jerry Jones keeps throwing out this narrative, then we, the, the fans, will buy into the narrative. And so eventually we're going to say, man, it was all Dak's fault. Remember this. He's Jerry greedy. Jones, He's too Stephen greedy. Stephen Jones, even Emmett Smith, they've all opined that, you know what? Dak Prescott should take less money. He should give us a hometown discount. Dak Prescott, you'll get more by being a Cowboys quarterback than these million dollars in this check will ever give you. The Cowboys are setting Dak up for the okie doke. I just hope that he reads between the lines and doesn't fall for the cheese in the trap. Now, mm. here comes the pain. Uh -oh. The narrative that was bought into is not the one that makes Dak the scapegoat is the one that you guys are buying into, which is the fear-mongering going on by these owners oh, right there now. We go. Here we go. What's happening in we go, real Lamar. world society business? What's happening right now? Efficiency. Companies are getting leaner. Whether they need to or not, they're like, I have found another way of handling business. I have found different ways to get the same job done. So staffs are being cut. Whether it's for necessity reasons or just because, you know what, we can save. Let me tell you what fear mongering has done to the NFL right now. Dak Prescott was offered a deal higher than Carson Wentz and Jared Goff. And he said, nah, because he has great representation in Todd France. And they're talking about future value. And I'm going to tell you what future value does to you. If you buy into the fear-mongering that the owners are selling right now, you only get two deals done this offseason during a pandemic. And what are those two deals? Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson. Did y'all read the headlines about Patrick Mahomes' deal once you looked into the details? Everyone said, ooh, if you really look at it, it could average out to being only $39 million per year. 12 years? Patrick Mahomes, as much as it hit us in the face at first, half a billion dollars, then you start to read fine print, you're like, maybe not the best deal. Let's go to Deshaun Watson, who signs this amazing deal, four years, 156. But then you got to tack it on to the two years he still has on his deal, and you start to realize Deshaun Watson could potentially only make $29 million per year. Ooh, not as pretty because the fear-mongering is being sold in this pandemic right now. And Dak is smart enough but, to wait this out but, and get his go and be the GOAT It's the always bank. a but, Marcellus. I wish you had a piano to play with it, too. I said, it's but always go ahead and get it. Dun, dun. Go ahead get it. Okay, mm -hmm. it's, it's mm -hmm. always a but, Marcellus, What's because but? this sounds great. This hypothetical situation that me and LeVar have had to listen to you talk about for the last three weeks is great. But what happens if 
Dak Prescott goes out there and experiences what Patrick Mahomes did last year. Oh, gets hurt. What happens if Fear. that Amen. Prescott Mongering. goes out there and experiences what happens uh, to Deshaun Watson in 2017? Oh, tears his ACL. Fear. But, no, no, no. There's also <laughs> realistic mongering. The NFL, NFL injury rate is 100%. No, it's not. If you 